and welcome to Excavation 101. Today I'm going to show you just exactly how we excavate here at the La Brea Tar Pits. And uh, right now I'm sitting in front of a deposit that's typical of what we find here. It's a jumble of bones for many different individuals. Uh, so right here we have a saber-toothed cat pelvis, a bison sacrum, and uh, even the femur of a juvenile mastodon. And these guys are mixed in with thousands of other bones, uh, plants, insect shells. It's really cool to see so many bones um, just concentrated in a small area. Before we start digging, we lay a grid system out over the deposit. Um, each grid is a meter by meter, and that grid will have a depth of 25 centimeters. That depth comes from the datum line that we set at the surface of the deposit. We choose tools depending on the hardness of the matrix and the presence of fossils. For an area um, of matrix surrounding bones, I would take a dental pick and carefully pick away at the dirt. Uh, for an area that's a lot harder and we don't think there's bones there, I would use a hammer and a chisel or a screwdriver. And that's basically our set of tools that we use every day. Right now I'm working with a dental pick um, around the saber tooth cat ulna and I'm removing the dirt that surrounds the bone, we call it matrix, and uh, once I've gotten a little pile of that matrix, I'll put it in a bucket that's specific to this grid, and later they're going to clean that and sort that for microfossils in the lab. Before we remove a fossil from the deposit, we'll measure out its location within its grid. Um, depending on the size of the bone, um, we'll pick one, two, or three reference points, um, and each of those points will get a north measurement, a west measurement, and a depth measurement. After we take those measurements, we write them down in our notebook, and that's copied onto a card, and that measurement stays with the bone. Each of our fossil measurements is recorded in our field notebooks. Um, the information on, in the notebook also goes on a card that goes with the fossil to the lab. Um, also in our notebooks we write down daily observations such as what grid we're working in, who we're working with, the type of matrix that we're finding. Along with recording that data, we photograph and map every grid and oftentimes we will take pictures of uh, specimens of interest or geologic features of interest. Thanks for watching Excavation 101. We're here seven days a week, so stop by and say hi to us.